Advocates of open borders and amnesty accusing border security advocates of fostering a wave of hate. But as usual, those groups led by La Raza and Maldef were long on rhetoric and uh, absolutely, absolutely devoid of facts or respect for them. Bill Tucker has our report. Being tough on illegal immigration is a bad thing in the eyes of La Raza, a Hispanic special interest group which says it represents the civil rights of all Latino immigrants. The group blames the murder of Marcelo Lucero, an Ecuadorian immigrant on Long Island, New York, on a wave of immigrant hate sparked by local politicians who have called for enforcement of immigration law. Steve Levy has taken a notably hard line against immigrants in his county and has been lauded by cable hosts like Lou Dobbs as a folk hero. The community has shown no tolerance for the crime. Seven teenagers were quickly arrested and charged with hate crimes, ranging from assault to manslaughter. In connection with that murder, the leader of the gang being held without bail. Lucero's murder, though, is being used by special interest groups like La Raza and Maldef to call attention to what they call a wave of hate crime in America. However, just last month, the FBI reported a slight decline in hate crimes nationally last year. The FBI saying there were just over 7,600 hate crimes versus just over 7,700 the year before. Groups calling for the enforcement of immigration law are furious that La Raza, Maldef, and others equate their position with hate. Their true agenda is to try to stop public discussion about the need to control the borders. And they are using isolated incidents, tragic incidents to be sure, but isolated ones, and distorting statistics to try to muzzle important free speech rights in this country. Not once in the news conference was the phrase illegal immigration used or heard. Instead, the phrase immigrant bashing and anti-immigrant were the word choices of the day. And today's news conference was not without irony. While trying to make the argument that a new wave of hate is rising in America, the participants had to admit and acknowledge that the president-elect is a black man who was elected by a majority of Americans, Lou. Well, the other part of this is that, uh, in point of fact, well, there's a far greater incidence of uh, hate crimes against uh, uh, gays and lesbians in this country. Uh, th 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 this is an absurd choice. I mean, it's just ridiculous on its face. They don't look at the FBI figures. They don't look at the fact that, uh, as Steve uh, Levy himself pointed out, hate crimes in Suffolk County have declined during his administration. But I mean, this is crazy what they're they doing. They did not seem to. Be, they did not seem to want to deal with facts at all, Lou. They had a case they what wanted the to present. What has happened to Janet McGee? She has become some sort of radicalized. I, I mean, she has no. It's Saul Alinsky. Uh, she looks like she's gone to a Saul Alinsky retraining school. I don't know. And she used to be a regular guest on this program, Lou. Well, I, she I, could come back any time if she wanted to make a little sense and maybe just stick right. to the truth for a change. Uh, but I mean, everybody better understand. This is a racially charged issue in large measure because these yeah. ethnocentric interest groups have taken on the issue simply because of the race of the people uh, that they seek to represent. True. Uh, and anti-immigrant and immigrant bashing. Uh, I'm the guy, by the way, who here says uh, every time, I'd much rather see the enforcement against the illegal employers of illegal right. aliens. I've said often that illegal aliens are the only rational actors in this entire mess. But why? The only way you can not be a racist in the eyes of these absurd groups is to support illegal immigration and open borders. Then and you not, wouldn't be a racist. And not talk about it. Oh, absolutely. All right. Bill Tucker, thank you, sir.